Well, today I'd like to show you two uh, inexpensive card corner cutters that are available from Amazon. Uh, on the right here, we have the Anna Key three-way corner punch, and these can be used for cutting your cards. And this is uh, the least expensive uh, cutter on uh, Amazon. It started about $7, which is why I paid for this. On the left, we have a slightly more advanced unit. It's the Sunstar Pro. And what you read here is Japanese. But where it's made, take a guess where it's made. It's made in China. So even though it says Japanese on the box, it's made in China. Uh, this cutter was $12 on Amazon. And I will put a link in the description to both of these units and uh, let you decide uh, which one you want. Um, now the deck I'm gonna be using uh, to cut to round the corners is Patrick Valenza's Zammer Twins Oracle. This is a very popular deck. It's current as, as of the time of uh, filming this. And I'm gonna remove the cards now, the reason I got a cutter was specifically for this deck. A uh, number of these cards have already been trimmed, but I'm going to show you the difference in trimming between the two cutters. Uh, Patrick Valenza, he's like the Hieronymus Bosch of artistry. He's a modern version of Hieronymus Bosch, but uh, everybody really likes his artwork, and... Uh, this deck, unfortunately, has very sharp corners on it. If you touch them, you actually feel the pain. Uh, I don't know why, but these are not rounded. And this is one deck, ooh, that actually hurt. This is one deck where um, I think it should be rounded. Well, if you want to keep it all original, I understand. Here's the back of the uh, card. Very nice seeing eye. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the Anarchy corner punch. And you notice there are three settings on it. There is a, uh, a small, a medium, and a large. And um, I don't know if you can read it right there. But the one I try to use is the smallest one, this one right here. Uh, because I don't want to take too much of the card away, even though it does have a border. If we take this card and we put it in the small slot, we make sure it's in there firmly, and then you press the white lever and you have a nice cut. Now we'll do the other one. Now sometimes it won't cut on, with this cutter. Sometimes it'll leave like a jagged edge. And uh, it's been cutting well for this card. Now. Also, what you can do is you can actually take two cards and put them in there. If you have a problem cutting a single card, you can take two cards. And I guess with a single card, what it does, the blade comes down, it just bends it and doesn't penetrate the, the cardboard or the cardstock. So what you, you can put two cards in and push it, and then it will have a more firm uh piece of material with two cards to actually cut the corner. Uh, just make sure they're in there evenly and you cut. And that came out pretty good. And like I said, I did run into some problems with this cutter. So I immediately went and got this one also. The um, uh, Sunstar Pro. And there's another word I'll put in the description for uh, that's also called besides Sunstar. Uh, this is nice. It has a removable tray on the bottom, which you can remove, and it holds all your little uh, pieces from the card that were cut. It holds them all uh, in the uh, in the unit. Um, now, if we take this cutter and we cut a card, let's see what happens. And I'm going to use the small again, which is right here and I'll cut it. It's a little more force. I think it produces a slightly better cut than the uh, cheaper one. 
So this is with the uh, uh, Sunstar. Now, if we compare um, a card, let's see, let's compare, let's take this card, for example, and we'll use the smallest cutter. Uh, it's been cutting pretty good, but it just doesn't have, uh, oh, right here. Here, see what happened? See the corner? Got, uh, it's tattered. You see that? You have to redo it. And when you put it in again, doesn't mean it's going to actually cut the corner correctly. But with this one, I think I can correct that. And I can put this in there. And there we go. There's a nice cut. So all in all, I would recommend this one for $12 uh, over this one for $7. And it is $12. I think that might be a closeout price because it's evenly $12, not $11.99. So they may be getting rid of some of these. Uh, and this one, though, is $6.99. And they, the same cutter is available by different uh, companies for uh, starting at around $6.99 up to like $10, $12 for almost the exact same uh, unit. So um, these pieces just drop right out of the bottom when you cut the cards. I'm going to cut a few more cards, and we'll see. Now, see, like this has uh, an effect here. It's supposed to be like blood or something on the bottom. So I don't want to lose too much of that. And of course, I use the small. And did it cut? Let me, nope, it didn't even cut it. It's still got the... Uh, it didn't even cut it that time. So I'm going to go back to this one and use the small. You have to put a little more force. And yes, it did, did cut it with the more expensive model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to use um, the Sunstar and uh, just do all my cutting of the cards with that. If you don't have strong hands, it may be easier for you to put this on the on your table and just push down with it on the table. Now it's not cutting either. I don't know. Okay. There it went. Okay. And I think you can also cut two cards at the same time to give you a little more stability uh, with the cardstock, if you put two in, well, nope, that didn't work. Okay, so one card, maybe with this cutter, is all we can really use. There we go. And then we'll continue. And I'm going to do a review on this deck once I get uh, all the cards uh, trimmed. Um, I'm going to do a review. Now, these cards are just happen to be very sharp. You know, you can actually feel uh, a little bit of physical pain if you touch these corners here. And I don't know why they weren't trimmed, but uh, if you want to keep the deck completely original and not trim the corners, uh, you're certainly welcome to do that. I'm going to uh, leave a couple of the cards here untrimmed, you know, like the title cards and and a couple other cards. Uh, this one here, I'm going to not trim. And this is a, a, a key card with uh, with the uh, Carl and Otto Zammer and uh, 1767 date. I'm gonna leave this one uncut and probably a couple others so I can be reminded of how sharp these little corners are. But anyways, I'll be back uh, with a review of this deck once I get all the corners trimmed. Anyways, I hope I've helped you out, and I'll leave a uh, link in the description for both these cutters. And as always, thanks so much for watching.